addition with a turret with 37 millimeter gun, the turret was well, 30 caliber, and he was also had another 30 caliber in the front of the hull, and they were fired by the guy who was in the driver. It's a five-man vehicle, a cylinder front driver, and his assistant who fired the machine gun, and three in the turret. It was actually built with quite interesting. The Americans had any enthusiasm about the cars at all. But when they read about the British use of armored cars in the desert, they began to think that it was probably as good a place as any for them to introduce armored cars. And this was built originally with the intention of giving it to the British under the lens use of it and to the Americans to use this as well. The Americans in the end decided not to. In fact, they decided to do the whole thing. And the British quite liked the design of the space helmet, and they all did. At the time, we were built in thousands of years. We were built in pretty few places. The Americans had nothing to do with the results after that. They tested them. If it had been put into American service, they would have been given the designation M6. But it never was, so it was always known as the T-17E1.